from Firelands, Delano, and Western Reserve Academy compete on the Nordson Academic Challenge. All right, let's get it going. Hi, everybody. Come on in. Thanks for joining us as we celebrate the 54th season of the Nordson Academic Challenge. I'm your host, Rob Powers. The challenge of our show, the same as it's always been, three local high school teams compete for points by answering questions in math, science, history, we've other topics as well. Let's hear it one more time for our three teams. Firelands, Glen Oak, and Western Reserve Academy. Yeah. Each team will be playing for a chance to make it to our leaderboard. And at the end of the season, the top three teams will be right back here to play for the championship and a $6,000 grant from Nordson. Let's get it started this morning where we start every Saturday morning. It's time for the lightning round. All three teams here compete in this round. We award 20 points for a correct answer. We will subtract 20 points for an incorrect or no answer. The match will start every team with 100 points. Everybody set? Let's do this. I hope you don't end up on the rocks here because these questions are all about rocks or words containing rock. Identify the following. In 1620, the Pilgrims landed on this rock. Firelands. Plymouth Rock. That is correct. Our national anthem sings of the red glare of these projectiles. Firelands. Uh, rockets. That is correct. Basalt is this type of rock formed from the cooled molten lava. Glen Oak. Igneous. That is correct. This mythical titan was chained to a rock because he gave us fire. Glen Oak. Prometheus. That is correct. This 19th century industrialist founded Standard Oil. Glen Rockefeller. Oak. Excuse me? Rockefeller. That is correct. This rocky fortress stands at the entrance to the Mediterranean Sea. Glen Oak. Gibraltar. That is correct. The dome of the rock is located in this holy Mideast city. Firelands. Jerusalem. That is correct. This California prison was known as the rock. Firelands. Alcatraz. That is correct. This is the highest mountain range in the contiguous U.S. Glen Oak. Mount Mitchell. The Rockies. We're just going for the Rocky Mountains there. Okay. For our final lightning round question, let's go to NASA Glen Research Center. Here is Debbie Welch. At NASA's Glenn Research Center, we have a number of exhibits pertaining to space. One of our most popular traveling exhibits is a display of rocks from what celestial body, located approximately 240,000 miles away from Earth? Glen Oak. The moon? The moon is correct, and that's the end of our first round. The opening round's done. We'll be back with more of the Nordson Academic Challenge right after this. Norton is honored to sponsor a program that celebrates academic excellence. We're a global industrial technology company with a long and proud history of giving back to the communities where we live and work. We donate 5% of our U.S. pretax profits to charity every year. Over the past 30 years, the Norton Corporation Foundation has donated more than $100 million, and our employees have volunteered more than 100,000 hours. And now, we're pleased to support the legacy of Academic Challenge. Thank you all for watching, and the best of luck to all the participants. Welcome back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. If you'd like more information about any of the schools that appear this season, scan the QR code you see there on your screen with your cell phone. That code will take you to the News5Cleveland.com Academic Challenge page. We have all the links for this season's schools, websites right there for you. All right. Time now for hot picks. One at a time, I ask each team eight questions. A correct response here is worth 20 points. There's no penalty here for a wrong answer. Any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive 25 bonus points. But before we get to the questions, let's meet our players. Let's start at Firelands. Joe, you're the captain. Good morning. What, what do we need to know about Joe? I'm the uh, senior field commander for our high school's marching band, and I am also just uh, submitted my paperwork to become an Eagle Scout. Oh, golly, good for you. That's great. Hi, Aiden. Good morning. Hi. Uh, I'm Aiden. I enjoy making art and hurdling. That's good stuff. Talasia, good morning. Welcome. Hi, I'm Talasia. I'm a sophomore at Firelands High School, and I'm involved in volleyball and academic challenge. Everybody's so busy. Okay, Firelands, for your questions, we go to Glen Oak Captain Dylan. Dylan, envelope one, two, three, or four? Four. Four. All right, Firelands, these questions just for you. Set? Here we go. Tricking your enemies goes back to ancient times when the Greeks used what device to enter the city of Troy and end the Trojan War? The Trojan horse. That is correct. The Panama Canal has an official length of how many miles? One less than the number of weeks in a year. 
51. That is correct. It was checkmate in more ways than one when what 16th century Russian czar known as the Terrible died in the midst of a chess game? Nicholas? Ivan IV is the answer there. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go to the monitor. Here's your science question. Treating a seashell with hydrochloric acid results in the rapid evolution of a colorless gas, indicating that the shell probably contains which of these? Chloride. A carbonate. A carbonate. Till We Reach the Stars was the title of a biography of what first Soviet cosmonaut to orbit the Earth back in 1961? Yuri Gagarin. That is correct. What fictional traveler had some very strange adventures when he visited the Lilliputians in an 18th century novel by Jonathan Swift? Gulliver. That is correct. Back to the monitor. Here's your math question. What is the next number in this sequence? 32. That is correct. Not content to sit in a rocking chair after he left the White House, what 17th president was later elected to the U.S. Senate? Andrew Johnson. A Andrew Johnson is correct. You don't even have to check. Way to go, Firelands. Good job. Nice job. All right. Our second team today comes to us from Glen Oak. Hello, Glen Oak. Dylan, you're the captain. What do we need to know about Dylan? Um, I'm a member of NHS, and I'm also an editor of my school's newspaper. Awesome. Welcome this morning. Hello, Hannah. Hi. Uh, I'm, a senior, er, I'm a senior at Glen Oak. I am the president of our chapter of Spanish Honor Society in Massa Moor uh, and, and the clarinet section leader. Very uh, impressive. Very impressive. Hi, Roman. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good so far. I'm a senior at Glen Oak High School. I'm the president of Student Council and the president of National Honor Society. Well, we got the A-team today, don't we? Okay, Glen Oak, your questions go to Western Reserve Academy. Carmen, you're the captain. Envelope one, two, or three? Three. Three. All righty, Glen Oak, just for you. Set? Here we go. In the International Phonetic Alphabet used by aircraft pilots, the letter Q is signaled with the name of what Canadian province and city? Quebec. Quebec is correct. In 1999, a tied election in New Mexico was settled by the candidates playing a hand of what card game in which a full house beats a straight? Poker. Poker, can you imagine? During the American Revolution, the British had to give orders in German after hiring thousands of what German mercenaries named for the area from which they came? Heschets. That is correct. Let's go to the monitor. Here's your science question. Which of these choices is identical to an alpha particle? Answer? Atom of mass eight. The helium nucleus. Okay, we move on. Double entry bookkeeping was first used by accountants for what Italian family that ruled Florence from the 13th to the 17th centuries? The Medici family. That is correct. Most people use just two first initials, but the three initials, J-R-R, -R, were used by what author of The Lord of the Rings? Tolkien. That is correct. Let's go back to the monitor. Here's your math question. We ask you to solve for X. 20. That is correct. In 1835, what seventh chief executive beat off an attempted assailant with his cane in the first assassination attempt against a U.S. president? Sumner. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. All right, Glenn Oak, good round there. All righty. Our third team today comes to us from Western Reserve Academy. Carmen, you are the captain. You are the elected captain. What do we need to know about Carmen? Uh, I'm a junior at Western Reserve, and I play flute and piccolo in the band, and I run cross country. That is often uh, awesome. Welcome. Kevin, you're up. Uh, I'm also a junior at WRA, where I'm the managing editor for the school newspaper, and outside of school, I play violin in the Cleveland Orchestra Youth Orchestra. Wow. Impressive. Francis, hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Francis. I'm a senior at Western Reserve Academy, uh, and I love astronomy movies, and I play soccer. Good for you. Impressive, impressive every week. For your questions, Western Reserve, Joe, the Firelands captain, we have envelope one or two? Two. Two. All righty. Western Reserve, these are just for you. All set? Here we go. It is now illegal to use a cell phone when crossing the street in what capital city of Hawaii? Honolulu. That is correct. Carved from wood by Benjamin Banneke, one of the first clocks built in America kept perfect time for what number years equal to two score? 20? 40. 40 is the answer. 
Some historians believe that a 17th century Cossack named Disney was the actual discoverer of the Bering Strait, separating Alaska from what large, cold region of Russia? Siberia. That is correct. Let's go to the monitor. Here's your science question. The time rate of change of displacement is called which of these? Velocity. That is correct. Over 40 objects resembling both planets and comets have now been identified between Saturn and what seventh planet from the sun? Uranus. That is correct. The reclusive 19th century Henry Thoreau might be surprised to learn of the video game based on his years at what Massachusetts pond? No answer. Walden Pond is the answer. Let's go back to the monitor. Here is your math question. We ask you to evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. Two. Two is correct. The Tenure of Office Act, which led to the impeachment of Andrew Johnson, was ruled unconstitutional in 1926 during the administration of what 30th president? Coolidge. Coolidge is correct. I can see the, the machine working there. Way to go, Western Reserve. All righty. That's the end of that round. We'll be back with more academic excitement coming up right after this. Today's judge from Cuyahoga Community College, instructional specialist, Michael Landstrom. Mike, thanks for coming in this morning. We really, really appreciate it. And we welcome you back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. Before we start our next round, we're going to take a look at the scores so far. In third place, I guess in second place, with 220 points, Western Reserve Academy, we have a tie right now for first with 300 points, Firelands and Glen Oak. So it is tight, and it is time now to go head-to-head -head once again. The picture-perfect round. Each correct answer here is worth 20 points. But for a wrong answer or no answer, we take away 20 points. This is for all three teams. Hands on the buzzer, eyes on the big monitor down front. All set? Here we go. This misty painting shows three people out walking early on what spring religious holiday? Glen Oak. Easter. Easter's correct. This patriotic World War I poster was inspired by the sinking in 1915 of what passenger liner? Glen Oak. St. Louis. The Lusitania. The Lusitania is the answer. This is a view of what Scandinavian city, the capital of Denmark? Glen Oak. Copenhagen. That is correct. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Western Reserve. 25. Yes, it is. Notice the butterfly in this picture by Maria Marion, who studied tropical insect, insects in Dutch Guiana, a South American colony that is now what country? Answer, Glen Oak. Suriname. Suriname is correct, yes. Combining these two compounds will result in the formation of what strong acid? Glen Oak. Sulfuric acid. That is correct. William Blake created this illustration for what English author's epic poem, Paradise Lost? Western Reserve. Milton. That is correct. Northeast Ohio's top doctors are the focus of this issue of Cleveland Magazine. They might know that the phrase, first do no harm, is attributed to which ancient Greek philosopher as a part of his eponymous oath? Firelands. Hippocrates. That is correct, and that's the end of that round. Way to go. Good round. Don't go anywhere. Our exciting grab bag round to determine today's winner. That is coming up after we mix it up. Stick around. Hey, welcome back to The Big Show. Let's say hello to today's school advisors from Firelands. It's Kelly Miller from Glen Oak. Hi, Matthew Brown. And from Western Reserve Academy, Jeff Damioka. Thank you all for being here and for bringing these kids. What a wonderful job you all do. All right, time now for our Mix It Up round. One at a time, I ask each team six questions. The correct response here is worth 20 points. We have no penalty here for a wrong answer. Any team answering all six questions correctly in this round receives 25 bonus points. Firelands, you're up first. All set? Yep. Here we go. You won't need kinfolk if you can find here the name of what Norse seafarers who raided the English coast? Viking. That is correct. Which of these three adjectives is the best synonym for the word valiant? Brave. That is correct. Fill in the blanks here. You can name what highly reactive halogen element added to our water supply to prevent tooth decay. 
Fluorine? That is correct. If you rearrange the letters in this anagram, you'll name what sort of viewing device, such as the one Galileo used in his study of the stars? Telescope. That is correct. Which of these countries can most accurately be described as an archipelago? Indonesia. That is correct, and that was big. This is for the bonus points. This was the motto of what artist whose own lessons speak to us from the walls and the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Michelangelo. Michelangelo is correct for the bonus points. Way to go, Firelands. Glen Oak, it is just that easy. All set? These are just for you. Here we go. Study this sentence and you will find within it the name given to what 1765 British act that infuriated American colonists. Colonists. Stamp. That is correct. Which of these adjectives best describes someone who is impulsive and unpredictable? Superfluous. Capricious. Capricious is the answer. If you've been boning up on bones, you'll be able to fill in the blanks here and identify what bone, also called the kneecap. Patella. Patella is correct. You can rearrange these letters to name what archaeological find that gave historians the key to translating Egyptian hieroglyphics. Rosetta Stone. That is correct. These three kings are all named in the titles of Shakespeare plays. Which one was not a real king of England? England. King Lear. That is correct. This self-criticism comes from what Italian Renaissance artist, who was certainly not wasting his hours when he painted the Mona Lisa. Da Vinci. Da Vinci is correct. Good round there. Oh, bueno. Okie doke. Western Reserve. Now you're up. All set? These are just for you. Hidden in this phrase about Ethiopia's capital is the name of what ancient Asian counting device, the forerunner of the modern computer? Abacus. Abacus is correct. If you said someone's claims were spurious, you would be saying the claims were which of these? False. False is correct. All the vowels have been removed from the name of what German physicist who invented and gave his name to a counter that detects radiation? Geiger. That is correct. This anagram will ring a bell if you can rearrange the letters to name what great gorge in Arizona. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon is correct. Which of these is a major export of Canada? Answer? Wheat. Wheat is correct. That was big. This is for the bonus points. These were the words of what modern Spanish painter who himself grew to a ripe old age after going through his famous blue and cubist periods? Picasso. Pablo Picasso is right for the bonus points. There you go. Oh, we're moving here. That's the end of the round. We'll be back with our final and deciding grab bag round. That's coming up right after this. To stay up to date with everything academic, visit us online at news5cleveland.com slash academic challenge and watch full episodes on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and other devices. All right, welcome back to the Northern Academic Challenge. Let's recap the scores real quick before we get into the final round. In third place, 405 points, Western Reserve. Uh, second place, 460 points, Glen Oak. 465 points, Firelands is leading the way. It's tight. Time now for the grab bag round. In this free for all, each correct answer is worth 30 points, but a team will lose 30 points for a wrong or no answer. Again, this is for all three teams. Hands on the buzzer, eyes on the monitor when we need it. All set? Here we go. Nobody likes a lichen throw. The technical name for what legendary Glen Oak? Werewolf. That is correct. The lion throne at Tibet's Potala Palace is the traditional seat of what Tibetan religious leader, Glen Oak? Dalai Lama. That is correct. Just as the Civil War had two battles of Bull Run, the First World War had two battles in 1914 and 1918, named for what French river? Firelands. Somme. The Marne. The Marne. Let's go to the monitor. These dramatic curved horns belong to what species of wild goat whose four-letter name? Firelands. Ibex. That is correct. The philosopher Aristotle didn't always get his biology right, as he believed that the seat of all human emotion was what hepatic organ of the body? Glen Oak. Heart. The liver. The liver. 
The Other Wind is the title of a book by what woman whose many fans were blown away by the Earth Sea series she also wrote? Answer is Ursula Le Guin. During the American Revolution, many patriots met at Fanel Hall in what Massachusetts city? Up Ireland. Boston. That is correct. At how many points does the graph of this equation intersect the x-axis? Ireland. Two. Twice is correct, yes. In 1741, Richard Walker wrote a detailed description of what ailment caused by a deficiency of vitamin C, Ireland. Scurvy. Scurvy, yes. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow blew poetry lovers away with his poem about what Native American title character, Glen Oak. Sacagawea. Hiawatha was the answer there. That takes it down. Let's go to the scoreboard. That's the end of our game. In third place this morning with 405 points, the team from Western Reserve. In second place with 460 points is the team from Glen Oak. And the winner today of Academic Challenge with 555 points, it's the team from Firelands. What a game. That went right down to the wire. Woo! Be sure to join us next time. We'll feature teams from Jackson, Lake Catholic, and Minerva. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Rob Powers, and we'll see you right back here next week.